Along with several other countries, India has in intensified its efforts to evacuate its nationalists from the conflict hit Sudan. Two Air Force planes have been kept on standby in Jeddah and the INS Sumedha has reached Sudan port for evacuation efforts. Around 3,000 Indian nationals are stuck in Sudan. The Ministry of External Affairs said contingency plans for evacuation of the Indians have been put in place but noted that any movement on the ground would depend on the security situation. Remember now, most countries are pulling out their nationals from Sudan, with the US and UK even pulling out their diplomats after days of internal conflict ravaged the African nation. On that note, I'm joined in by my colleague Rishab on the phone line with us. Rishab, good morning. IAF planes on standby and INS Sumedha at the port Sudan as India seeks to expedite evacuation from Sudan. Please bring us the latest on the same. Put two planes, uh, C or one fifty J at standby in Jeddah because remember, given the situation on ground in uh, Sudan, it's very volatile, and India understand that at a very short notice, it will have to initiate and finish the evacuation, and that's the reason that two planes have been placed at Jeddah so that it can fly in and get people out as soon as possible. Another thing, uh, INS Sumedha has been put at uh, Port Sudan for evacuation via marine, uh, you know, uh, routes, and that is one, one thing. INS Sumedha is something which can have around 300 to 400 people on deck at once. So that is one thing that India is looking at. If not via aerial route, via marine route, evacuations can happen. Remember, around 3,000 Indians are stranded in uh, Sudan in different places, especially in Khartoum. But the fighting has not succeeded, and it's the eighth day since the fighting is on. It's in the second week, and paramilitary and army has been firing at each other. While Saudi Arabia, US, and UK have managed to evacuate their diplomats, India has a huge task in front of it. It's not only a diplomats who need to be evacuated. India also need to evacuate those 3,000 Indian citizens and PIOs as well. So it is going to be difficult, and that's the reason India is taking its time, but chalking out a plan with a foolproof plan. Evacuation will happen is what the government suggests.